So the past couple days, I've been uh, out fishing and catching some trout. So now we have the trout. So we're gonna keep a section for all our jalapenos and everything and our peppers that we added in there. So we're just gonna set those aside and then have our trout right here that we're gonna lay out. We have had them marinating for about approximately 16 hours or so. We're just gonna put them out. They're thin, so they're not gonna take a whole long. And at first I was talking about, oh, I'm gonna do a cold smoke, but yeah, that changed. So here's my jalapenos. Previously before I put them on like the jerky or the whatever I was making. And only problem with that is that when I was doing it, it was that it was um, blocking the smoke or anything that was going on. If I flipped them over, basically it just didn't smoke in that area or get it dried out where I wanted it. So I stopped doing that. Lesson learned, don't cover up your, don't cover up your salmon or your trout or your jerky with um, peppers or else it won't get done. So we'll smoke our peppers too. They've been marinating with everything. Normally it gives it a little kick. It's not something like really obvious half the time, but it's noticeable. You can tell it's there. It's a hint, I guess you can say. Or you can put them in between, I guess, too. This is what we've been. I've been looking forward to this. Like I've been wanting it. So time consuming, but I've been just wanting to do it. Now the cool thing too is like when you have your jalapenos and whatnot. And I got asked about that too, about the about uh, putting the the seeds in there. That's one thing, if you can break them apart like that and get them out there on them, that will make a big kick in it. That will make a difference. Most of the time what I'll do is just take them out. Like if I have time, I'll chop them up and then I'll take them out, dry them, and then put them over that. And that's a really cool, that's a real cool chick right there to do that. It's just like doing your flakes on anything else that you want to add to it. Today we were having thunderstorms and everything else going on and wind, severe winds. So I was sitting there waiting. I just wanted to get this done, but it was like, God, this wind is so crazy. So it died down so real quick. Hopefully it's passing. So I'm gonna hurry up and get it done. Laid out tonight. As soon as I get in the shed, I'll feel more comfortable with it being done. And I'll still put it, you can probably hear, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it's starting to rip. Making me hungry just doing this. <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed to my page, subscribe to it. Um, let me know what kind of stuff that you would like to see done. Or you want to learn I guess a lot of people are asking about jerky how do I make jerky and I will make a I'll make a better one before because I was kind of just screwing around on when I first started YouTube so I was just putting stuff up random stuff up but then I started getting more questions and then everybody was wanting to and I know I don't have a big following but I still was getting a lot of questions just from a lot of people so I figured I better go more in depth to what I do. So today I was really working on it. So I was all trying to figure this out. <clears throat> trying to keep these flies off of everything too is a pain. There's my jalapenos. I'll probably drop like half of them by the time I carry it over to the 
to the shed. So it's starting to look pretty good now. You want to make sure nothing's overlapping on it on each other like that too because then that one that won't get smoked and dried out it's looking pretty good though i'm liking it right now i'm excited like so i obviously will have enough space and so i'm not going to be trying to cram everything on there at this point i mean i'll be able to space everything out So we got our peppers over there and our jalapenos. But yeah, that's a really cool trick. If you can dry out the, the seeds and then lay them out on there afterwards. That's if you like hot stuff. If you don't like hot stuff, then don't do that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to hotter, hotter stuff too. But I, am, I have, this is something when I eat, I won't be able to eat a, like all a whole bunch at once. It's like, sparingly i'll snack on it and then be like recover from the hotness and then eat some more and we're starting to kind of wrap up right now we'll go get this on The last oh I got one little tail in there. It's done. One thing is too, you gotta figure out sometimes I have steps or something just so my back doesn't hurt from laying. And these are like four by four and a half. So we're gonna dash it with a little bit of pepper. Not getting too crazy with it. Just lightly. I want it to know it's there, but I don't want it to be be like completely obvious. All right, so now our next step is to drag it off of here. And everything's on the front, and so that's the least away from the fire because these are so thin. That's why everything's towards the front. The back, it burns to the back. So, slide these in. And I have two sheds, so if you're watching me do jerky and you're watching me do salmon and trout, salmon and trout stay on this. And the jerky stays on the other one. You don't mix them up. You don't want your jerky tasting like salmon or trout. So there's a good shot of how it's going. Got a real light fire going. It's not really big. And we're going to get it smoked and marinated. So, all right, if you guys have any questions like usual or anything else, feel free to ask me. If you guys want something else done, let me know. All right, love you guys.